idea. Lord, have mercy. Stir it up, ladies. Stir up the gift. My God, my God, my God. Won't you stir up the gift? Well, this is the day that the Lord has made. Ladies, this is the day that the Lord has made for all of us. And I must, I will rejoice. Because this is one day God has turned up to give. Yes, sir. On a beautiful Mother's Day. Yes, sir. Good, good, good Mother's Day to all of y'all ladies out there in the audience. Oh, all over the land. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. And uh, I know it's Lady Day, but I must rejoice in it to it myself. Because God's done stirred up so many gifts for me yeah. along the line. Amen. Some mothers are gone, but that's okay. Mine's been gone, what, 29 years? But I still got a mother in Jesus. And, uh, and, and you know, they say it's hard, but it's not hard. As long as you got Jesus on your side, ladies, man, we got a mother, a father, a brother, and a sister. He's all in all. Like the Sunday school, le like the Sunday school lesson said, God is good to us. He's been all in all to us that we've been to ourselves. He's the best. And he gives the gifts. Yes, he does. Uh, just let him touch you. <laughs> Pastor, just let him touch you. Just a little touch from him. Oh, yeah. Still not having a little talk with him. Just let him touch the body of, of the soul. Yeah, just one touch. Just one touch. Three. And you'll see how far that he can bring you. Yes. And then yes, you got something to thank him for. He's worthy to be thankful this morning. Oh, he's worthy to be touched. Touch me, Lord. We need you this morning. Yes, sir. Yeah. Father God, just a little touch from you. Ah. Our, our reading is coming from John 19, you, chapter 25 through 28, I think that is. Mm. Yes, Praise you this morning, Lord. Oh, Father, because you are worthy to be prayed this morning on this Sunday morning, Lord. Father God, because you said hi and you look low on us, Lord. Oh, Father God, you still let the blood run and warm through our body this morning, Lord. Oh, Father God, we just want to thank you for it. Thank you. Oh, Father God, because we know everything comes from you this morning. Oh, Father God, bless our mothers that are sitting on the side of my voice this morning, Lord. Oh, Father God, let them know that you still call, Lord. Oh, Father God, that you, 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 you've been there for them, Lord. Oh, Father God, let them know that, you, that you're still here for them, Lord. Oh, yeah. 
Father God, the only thing we gotta do is to just trust in you, Lord, and follow you, Lord. But Father God, because you're you're, you're a perfect leader, Lord. But Father God, we just want to thank you for that. Thank you. But Father God, another thing we want to thank you for this morning. Thank you for our pastor this morning, Lord. But Father God, just thank you for letting him, let him be here to do this. This morning, Lord. Oh, Father God, because we need, we need to hear from you this morning. Oh, Father God, you sent the right one to send your message, Lord. Oh, Father God, we just want to thank you for him, Lord. Thank you. Oh, Father God, thank you for his family this morning, Lord. Oh, Father God, you know where he's torn down that building, but Lord. Oh, Father God, be there for him, Lord. Oh, Father God, just a little touch from you, Lord, and you let him know where that's oh, yeah. all right, Lord. Oh, Father oh, yeah. God, just a little touch from you, Lord. Yes, Father God, you make everything all right, Lord. Oh, yeah. Father God, we just want to thank you this morning, Lord. Father God, thank you for first grade of this morning. Oh, yeah. yes, thank you for all the, all the activity that you got running through, through your church, Lord. Because this is the church that you have made, Lord. Oh, yeah. Father God, now going to the hospital this morning, Lord. Yes, Father God, touch those mothers who are in there, Lord. Mm -hmm. oh, Father God, let them know that you're still God, Lord. Oh, Father God, go all, all over the United States, Lord. Touch oh, yeah. them, Lord. Let these mothers know that you're still God. Oh, yeah. Father God, you let them know that, that they need anything, just call upon you, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, Father sir. God, because you're a giver, Lord. Oh, Father God, we just want to thank you for it, Lord. Thank you. Oh, Father God, thank you for watching us as we go up, thing, up and down oh, the yeah. highway this morning, Lord. Oh, yeah. oh, Father God, just thank you for it. Oh, yeah. Father God, bless our musicians this hey. morning, Lord. Bless our choir this morning, Lord. Oh, yeah. oh, Father oh, God, yeah. we get down through down here, we can't pray yes, no more, Father God. Please give us a home to your so we can praise your name forever and ever. Amen. 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 Amen.
soon It won't last always Try to come Just to make you strong But just to fix this Hold on You got to hold on Keep the faith Don't give up and just give it Oh, it's you. It 
house today Amen. brethren and all let's give our mothers in this house let's give them a big round of applause god bless all of our mothers thank god for our mothers thank god for our mothers amen amen thank the lord thank the lord thank the lord thank the lord and a mother is one whom the lord has given maternal instincts and there are many ladies in this sanctuary today who didn't bear children physically but the Lord has given you maternal instincts where you care for siblings you care for your nieces your nephews you care for the children in the church and the children in your surrounding so don't think just because you might not have born a child physically you're not a mother God has given every woman a maternal instinct and when that woman uses it to the glory of God she's a mother so I applaud every mother especially who is a mother mother of Jesus Christ especially who's a mother of Jesus Christ amen and the deacon read in his scripture lesson where we're going to preach from this morning. I said, look at God giving verification. I, he said, John, the gospel of John chapter 19, verses 25, he went to 28, and we're going to go to 27. God be pleased, we might tap on 28. <laughs> but the deacon, I, I said, look at the Lord giving verification. He always does. Yes, sir. He always does. Yes, sir. So you ought to be there in your Bibles, John, the Gospel of John, chapter 19, yes. verses 25, 26, and 27. We will read in our reading. Follow along silently as I read God's holy word aloud. You'll find these words from God's holy writ. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. Verse 26 says, when Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, woman, 
Behold thy son. Verse 27 says, Then said he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her unto his own home. So reads God's word out of the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 25 through 27. Thank you, ushers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God for our usher ministry and their diligence as they serve as doorkeepers in God's house. Thank God for each one of you as well. A godly mother, a believer who is a saint of God. How is all that derived and where does that come from? To be a godly mother, to be one who is a believer in Jesus Christ. You see, it all comes about through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, his resurrection, that is the central doctrine of Christianity. All that we are as believers, mothers, fathers, those of us who are believers, the centrality of who we are as believers is Christ, his resurrection from the dead. You see, that's our belief that Jesus Christ, he was risen from the dead. He did rise from the dead on the third, third day. And after, the, after his crucifixion, and that through his conquering of death, all believers share in his victory over sin, over death, and over the enemy, Satan. I said all that because what takes place in chapter 19 of the Gospel of John is uh, the events on the day of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ until his burial. As you read God, chapter 19, you'll see everything that unfolded on the day that Jesus Christ was crucified. Jesus was led to the crucifixion to be crucified bearing his cross into a place called the place of the skull. This place of the skull in the Hebrew is known as Golgotha. Golgotha's hill. Jesus was crucified between two malefactors who are two thieves. Pilate mocked Jesus by placing these words above Jesus on the cross. He says, Jesus is Nazareth, the king of the Jews. He was mocking yes, sir. the king yes, sir. as Jesus hung on the cross. The Roman soldiers. Now, you, if you read this in the gospel account of chapter 19, you'll see these things unfold. The Roman soldiers, they took the garments of Jesus Christ, made four parts, and every soldier took a part of Jesus' garments. You see, these occurrences and these events brings to a climactic portion of John chapter 19 at a climatic time in history. That's important for us to understand as we glean as God gives us out of the gospel of John. You see John chapter 19 verses 25 through 27 is the high point and most intense portion of this chapter. What we're getting ready to cover in these three verses is the climatic high point mm -hmm. of everything that unfolded yeah. on the day of crucifixion for Jesus Christ. At this climatic point in John 19, love, love is shown by Jesus Christ. At this climatic point in the gospel of John chapter 19, Mary, the mother of Jesus, shows love. At this climatic point in the gospel, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, shows love in this, in this account. There's another lady by the name of Mary Magdalene. She shows love at this climatic point in the gospel of, uh, of John chapter 19. And then there's one apostle, the apostle John. He shows love in this climatic point in, God, in the gospel of John 19. Yeah. You see affection, Pray. devotion, Pray. and love Pray. are 
characteristics yes, of Christ yes, and of mothers Ooh. who are Christ-like. You see a Christ-like mother, a Christ-like saint, a Christ-like believer must show love, affection, and devotion. If you don't have those characteristics, you're not of Christ. You see, having a mother, Brother Shaw came in this morning, and many of us, I think, whose mom has been gone a long time, even if not a long time, just for a few days. But if the Lord bless you and I with a mother who is a Christian mother, a mother that showed affection, a mother that was devoted to Jesus Christ, a mother who is a mother who, who, who loves, that's a blessing. That's a blessing to have a mother who loves the Lord. That's a blessing. Having a mother who is a Christian, affectionate, and devoted. I thank God. My mom been gone 27 years. But I can look at the one in whom she worships. See, I know who my mama pointed me to. Bertha May didn't point me to herself. Bertha May pointed me to Jesus Christ. And if you got a mother who points you to Jesus Christ, or who pointed you to Jesus Christ, you better be thankful. You better be thankful. Thank God for an affectionate mother. Thank God for a devoted mother. Thank God for a loving mother. You'll see this, you'll see this in this account. So you don't have to have had children. Mary Magdalene, she was a whore. I don't know if she had children, but she loved the Lord. If you love the Lord, and God has made you Christ-like. Proverbs 31 and 25 says about a Christ-like mother. And not only a Christ-like mother, but a Christ-like lady. Proverbs 31 and 25 says strength and honor are her clothing. Whew. Show strength and honor. Show me a mother that's clothed in strength and honor. And notice the Bible says she shall rejoice in time to come. How many of us had mothers who was difficult, didn't know where the next meal was coming from, but did she not show strength? Did she not show honor? And did she not still rejoice? Everything ain't been easy on this journey for mothers and for Christians alike. I said I was talking to someone the other day about my, I don't know half of the stuff my mom went through. I don't even know a portion of the sacrifices my mother made to give me a, a decent life. I don't even know not of what my mother went through. But when you know and you watch and you see the strength and the honor that she's clothed in. When you see, I looked over and Mother Ramsey on the first song at her age stood up and was praising and worshiping God. And what that showed me, through the storm, she was able to praise him. Through the rain, she's still praising him. And through the storm, two knee replacement surgeries. But God still gave her strength. God still gave her honor. Everybody want to look for an example. You want to look for an example on these clowns on TV. God gives us examples of, of good quality mothers and brothers right here in God's house. You idiots out there that don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. But when God sends you somebody your way, that's... give honor to who on a zoo. They full of hypocrisy. They full of for evil. They full of the ways of this world. Give me a mother who loves Jesus. Give me a saint who loves the Lord. Give me someone who ain't ashamed to say he's worthy. We put too much stock in what's seen in this world. Don't you know this world is going to be destroyed? God is showing it every day. And I thank God for a mother rivers. 
It was I'll get to that later. Thank God for a mother and a saint who don't mind standing with the Lord. Notice in the text, notice in the text, the Bible says, now there stood. That word stood is very important. There were, now there stood by the cross. Not just any cross. Stood by the cross of Jesus. Notice who stood by the cross. His mother. That word stood means to be firm. That word stood to be fixed. That word stood to be established in their place. They stand by able to see Jesus. But not only was she able to stand by and see Jesus, she was able to hear him. He was weak. I told you the resurrection is the most important. She saw her son on the cross. But she was close. She stood by. Able to hear every word he said. See, that's what a mother standing by something is you so close and intimate that even if it's a whisper, you can hear what they say. How many times, how many times mom just whispered something to you? She didn't raise her voice. She didn't smack you upside the head. She just says, son, daughter, baby, don't do that. The Bible said, now that stood. See, if you're on the Lord's side, I'm talking to any believers up in here. Any saved folk up in here. I ain't talking about just the mothers. Any believers of Jesus Christ. See, we who are believers, we stand by the cross. We will not take down from the cross. And not just any cross, the cross of Jesus Christ. Notice what his mother, his mother and others, his mother's sister. That's an aunt. Boy, it's a blessing to have. All of us had them aunts that ain't no scared aunt. Them aunts just right there with you. They stand with you. Even when mama coming down there, they say, look, look, Clarabelle, leave them alone. And they came, ooh, they, see, thank God for a solid aunt. So look, look that's Jesus' aunt who's standing, his mother's sister. So some of you, if you ain't had a child, be a strong aunt. Be a strong aunt in your nieces and nephews' lives. Be an example of Christ in your nieces and nephews' lives. Be one who emulates Christ. Talking about a mother, talking about a mother. A lot of mothers had children. I move on down. We got some of these children are being treated. I say the same thing about a, son, a, a, son, a man who might impact a, a, a sperm or seed. That's a whole, I deal with that on Father's Day. But a mother stands by the cross of Jesus Christ. His mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas. That's who his mother's sister was. Mary of Magdalene. Someone who's done some of everything under the sun. See, 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 those who for real, we ain't trying to walk around here like we poly purebreds. See, see, a real one who stand by Christ will get honest and declare, yeah, I have messed up. <laughs> yeah, I have sinned. I have not done everything right. But thanks be to Christ, he came and brought me to stand beside him and I am fixed right beside Jesus Christ. Anybody fixed? Anybody standing by? Anybody on the Lord's side? Look at these names. Time doesn't permit for me to go through each one of them, but I want you to see the examples. His mother stood by the cross. His aunt stood by the cross. Mary Magdalene, who was, I told you who she was, stood by the cross. Now the question is, are you standing by the cross? Are you standing by the cross of Jesus Christ? Are you? Am I? That's the question at hand. Yeah. Told you, Jesus, it's one thing to be God-like. The term Christian 
means to be like Christ, God-like. And one who is a Christian stands by the cross of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to stand by the cross to the day I die. And when I die, from all high, I shall be taken. Because this world is not my home. I need somebody to stand flat footed and stand up. Brother, brother Myra sang this song, sing this song, stand up. Isn't that the song he sing? Stand up. I'm saying, I'm saying to some Christian brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers and uncles, stand up for the cross of Jesus Christ. Call right, right. There was a day. Huh? I'm going to go there. There was a day where anything just didn't go when you came in God's house. Because there were some people. So, come in with that little mini skirt on if you want to. That mother had that. mothers weren't scared then and then the mothers and the aunts who stood with Christ they'll look at you I can't believe you see we too they back but they didn't fight oh they that ain't decent the Lord is a God of decency I know this ain't our favorite mother but we have gotten away from the ways of Jesus Christ. We think tight is right. <laughs> and I'm not being judgmental, I'm being real. They stood by the cross. See, see, to stand by the cross, it means some sacrifices. Standing by the cross, you ain't going to be popular. Standing by the cross, you, you hear people say, oh, yes, that's only foggy. That's true. Ain't nothing only. That's the Bible. That's traditional. It's true. It's truth. And what I'm finding, there is a lack of taste for truth. We need some mothers who stand beside the cross of Jesus Christ and stand for what's right. Ain't nothing wrong for standing for right, for what's right. Notice, now there stood. Now is prayer. When is now not now? When is now not now? Now is always now. So why do now they're stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, Mary Magdalene, verse 27, 26. When Jesus it's all about what the Lord sees. See, we don't worry about what other people see and think about us. That's right, Pastor. My I the Lord. Say that. Notice when the Lord, Say that. when Jesus therefore saw <laughs> his mother All right. and the disciple All right. standing by yeah. whom he loved, yes, yeah. he said unto his mother, yeah, Woman, behold thy son. Yeah, now, but Mary, Jesus' mother, had witnessed the pain. Mm -hmm. The agony, 
The humiliation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The sorrow. Uh, the suffering. All right. The insults. Yeah, all right. The mockering, mocking yeah. of her son. Uh -huh. And at this climatic moment, ahead, his mother was exposed to danger. Uh -huh. I want you to. I want this to say, his mother at this moment. As Christ is on the cross, his mother was exposed to danger and abuse when seeing what she saw. So Jesus still on the cross in protective mode was not insulting his mother when he said, woman, behold thy son. Notice the exclamation point is climatic. It's emphasizing. Uh, Woman, uh -huh. behold thy son. Yes, now, she, he's not talking about himself. Yes, he's talking about the, the disciple whom the Lord loved. That's John, the writer of the gospel. Right, right. And so when he says, behold thy son, yes, he's in protective mode. And he calls her woman. Yes. Not out of disrespect, ahead, not to out of uh, concern, ahead, not because of That's him right. being ashamed of her. Yeah. He called her woman All right. to not cause her to become even more emotional. All right. Because this is the one who she gave birth to yes, sir. Yes, sir. on the cross, yes, suffering. Go ahead. Going through what he was going through. Yes, sir. So he says, woman, to keep her from becoming emotional. All right. Secondly, protecting her from the mob. Right, right, right. If the mob knew she was his mother birthwise, not only would they have continued to crucify him, they would have brought harm. So I to be protected, man. I'm protective of my mama. <laughs> she going on to glory. But, but, but shh, you can talk about me just as much as you please. But let me tell you something. Don't talk about Bertha Mae Williams. Because he won't be pleased. <laughs> protecting his mama yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. from the mob. All right. Woman, All right. behold thy son. Yes, sir. John, he also was doing that, that their natural, catch this, their natural, their natural relationship was ending. On the cross, he was getting ready to go to the grave. Rise from the dead. Oh, yeah. Ascend back to glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So his natural interaction All right. with his mother <laughs> was coming to a close. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> he's letting you know it's coming to an end. Yes, sir. But he still had her care Go ahead. in mind. Go ahead. And lastly, Go ahead, when he said, Woman, Go ahead. behold thy son. All right. He was showing his authority yes, as Lord yes, and Savior. Yes, he was showing Mary, yes, yeah, you gave me birth. Yes, yeah, you delivered me physically, but spiritually, I'm the one that has all authority. I'm the one who is the deliverer. Wasn't no more mama. Woman. But he didn't leave her there. Behold thy son. John. You see, behold is in the second person singular. And it's imperative. In the imperative middle voice. I, you, he, she, it. Some of us who've been to school and know I, you is second person singular. He was saying you. Mary. Woman. He wasn't talking, it was three other mirrors out there. Go ahead, Pastor. But he was talking specifically to her. Behold thy son. All right. Jesus shows his affection. Go ahead. He shows his devotion. Go ahead, he shows his love yeah, yeah. by assuring she right. is cared for, honored, 
and respected mm-hmm. while here on earth. Yeah. Jesus focuses always, always on the centralization <laughs> of others. All right, Pastor. Mothers Go ahead. Yeah. and those who are Christ-like. Go ahead. We don't we don't make it about ourselves. That's right. Think about the sacrifice. Uh-huh. Our mothers who are godly mothers. All right. Think about the sacrifices they made. Where do you think they got that from? They got it from Christ. Because he is making a sacrifice on her behalf as well as all the believers of Jesus Christ. All of this is climatic for us to understand. He said to Mary, his mother, Behold, John. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he comes around in the next verse. Ahead, Look, he's still in control That's the word. before he gave up the ghost. That's the word. Go Notice what he does. Go he said to the disciple, Go ahead. Behold, Behold, who? Thy mother. Thy mother. Ah. He telling John, oh. Take care of my mama. Ah. John, take care of my mama. Yes, bro. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Go ahead, Pastor. I said to everyone that loves the Lord, you might not have given birth to me, but the mandate Christ has given me and all the believers, we're here to take care of each other. My mama been gone 27 years. But I guarantee Sister Ramsey and Sister Sister Hamilton and Sister Mother Ramsey, if I can help it, she ain't gonna want for nothing. All right, Pastor. She needs medicine. All right, Pastor. She gonna get it. Mother Irvin needs this. She gonna get it. Even if I have to come out of my own pocket. See, that is a mad day. We are so selfish in our own ways. But Jesus Christ is saying we ought to be here for each other. He is our deliverer. He is our savior. He is our protector. And the same characteristics that he has, he's given us. We're not here to hurt each other. Elder West Morning, you are preaching indeed. Miss Eisen, you are preaching indeed. I will never put my tongue on either or you or anybody else. We are of the same family if you belong to Christ. That used to be taught. That used to be taught to look out for each other. Now you have this mentality to each his own. You get yours, I get mine. That's not the way of Christ. Christ looked back at John. I'm through. All the disciples, they were martyred. I'm telling about an all wise, all powerful Savior. All the other disciples that were with Christ, they were martyred. John wrote the book of Revelation of Jesus Christ. John died a natural death. So God, by his divine providence, those who come to Bible study know what I'm talking about. By his divine providence, assured that John outlived his mother and his siblings. Isn't it amazing? Jesus Christ had some half-brothers. Oh, I'm about to get in some trouble, brother. He had some half-brothers. He had some siblings. But to me, I think they were no count. Isn't it amazing how you have siblings? The only time they want to show affection is when mama is down at the altar. Where were you when mama was in need? 
Where was you when there was a need for this? Now you want to come and fall over in the casket. He had some brothers, he had some sisters, but the Lord pointed to John and then gave him life to watch over his mother till it was time for her to go to glory. I tell you the truth, the Lord be for you. When the Lord is for you, he's more than anything, more than anyone. When the Lord be for you, he's more. Going on to glory, take care of my mama. Mothers of this house, you ain't got nothing to worry about. We, I believe the Bible. You stand in need, we gonna be there. I can't say everybody, but there's some who believe in Jesus Christ. There's some of us who are followers of Jesus Christ. Some of us know this is not about me, myself. And I, right, and some of us ought to give honor to do, even if our mama's gone or still here. If you got a mama who taught you, don't be about yourself. Be there to help others. Be there to lift others up. Be there to show love, devotion, and affection more than to yourself. Be there to celebrate Christ. Is he worthy of the praise? Is he worthy of the praise? Anybody believe? God bless all you mothers. I mean that. And if anything we can do, me personally, try me. Try me. This thing is real. Jehovah Nisi, there is a standard. There is a standard. And one of the standards that God, through Christ, teaches his people is that we are to be loving to each other. First of all, we love Christ because he first loved us. Now, if you don't love Christ, you won't understand what I'm saying. But we understand we love Christ before because he first loved us. Then we will be loving to each other. We will be affectionate to each other. And we will be devoted in Jesus Christ. Because after all, that's how he is towards his people. God bless you. Amen. 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 is joining someone to faith and repentance. The Lord is moving on your heart. The Lord is drawing you. Come to Jesus. The Lord is drawing you, moving you. This might be the day of salvation. The Lord is saving your soul. Come to the, stand by the Lord. Do the good and the bad. Whether happy or sad. That's what we do. 
The Lord Jesus Christ is moving on your heart, drawing you to faith and repentance. Come to Christ. Bless you. The Lord bless you.